Ruchim Abayim Beshem Adonai May those who enter be blessed in the name of Adonai Ve'lachnuchem mi Beit Adonai We bless you from the house of God Mi adir ala kol Mi baruch ala kol Mi gadol ala kol Uyevarech Chatan Betala May the one who is supreme in power, blessing and glory, bless, bless this Hatan, God, and his Kala, Amal. We welcome you 
With this moment, your hopes are being fulfilled. This moment is emerging of two paths of life into one. Beruchim Abayim, we welcome you to a loving partnership. And we say, Amen. The Saturday Rusim was originally conducted several months prior to the Nesuim. What is the Irusim? It's like the engagement. The Nesuim is a marriage. And at the contemporary wedding, <coughs> it reflects a combination of the two. So we take a cup of wine. The first one, Scott, is by your own free will that you want to marry Tamara? Yes. Yeah. This? Tamara is by your own free will that you want to marry him? To marry Scott? Okay, having your consent, we start with your wedding ceremony according to the law of Moses and the people of Israel. Baruch Atah Hadonai Eloheinu Melech Haulam Bole Peri Agafen Baruch Atah Hadonai Eloheinu Melech Haulam Asher Kichanu Bemitzvotav et Sivano Larayot Veasar Lanu et Arusot Veiter Lanu et Anesuot Lanu Al Yidei Chupa Vekidushin Baruch Ata Adonai Mekadesh Amo Yisroel Al Yidei Chupa Vekidushin You will drink for the first cup of wine? Don't drink all. Praise are you Adonai, our God who rules the universe, whose mitzvot, whose commandments add holiness to our lives, and who will guide us even in the most intimate of our relationships. Praise are you Adonai, our God, who sanctifies the people of Israel with the wedding canopy, the chupa, the enkidushin, the sacred wedding traditions. And now, <coughs> rings are going to be extended, right? The exchange of rings now takes place. The ring is simple, without precious stones. The ring's wholeness symbolizes the beautiful way the bride and groom complement each other. At the moment the rings are presented, a special formula is recited. Witness and the bride and groom thus become legally bound to each other. Okay? So you put it first here. Now, because we don't have a micro, you have to say it louder, okay? Okay. Look at her at her. No no, no it's don't let go. No. Okay, so you will repeat after me. Look at her, not at me. Harei, at, you continue to say the word with me, Mekudeshet. Now you continue to say, Li, you continue saying, Betabaat, Zo. Now you continue to say Kedat, and you finalize with Moshe ve Israel. Moshe ve Israel. By this ring. By this ring. No. By this ring. You are consecrated unto me. You are consecrated unto me. As my wife. As my wife. In accordance. In accordance. With the laws of Moses. With, in accordance with the laws of Moses. And the people of Israel. And the people of Israel. Now you can let go. You will put the ring to him in, in his hand. Well, whether you are going to use it. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. Look at him and you repeat after me. Ani, Ledodi, Bedodi, 
Lee. I am my beloved. And my beloved is mine. I will betroth you to me forever. I will betroth you to me with righteousness, with justice and love, and with compassion. I will betroth you to me with faithfulness, and you shall love. And you shall love together, God. I just want you to give a look because it's beautiful, beautiful, really beautiful. This is the ketubah. This is the document that the bride, the groom, and the witness sign. And as I explained to Scott, here, are written all the obligations, material obligations of the groom. Talking about feminism. Of the groom, the only obligation of the bride is she accept to be his wife. That's the only obligation. And now, there is another one. And to build with him a home with harmony and love. And all the material obligations, but they are here, is about Scott should provide for a roof, for food. Of course, if it's a Jewish home, kosher food. You can imagine, right? No? Of course, yes. <laughs> <laughs> food, clothing, and I explained to him that the ketubah doesn't say anything about TG Max and Walmart. <laughs> I, I, I saw Versace here. Let me see. Okay, so you have to buy the nice ones, okay? Also, he will give her jewelry. What about that, right? And the value of this ketubah in this case is 100, 100 shekels. 100 shekels of silver. Shekel is not a shekel, the currency of Israel today. It's a weight of silver, 100 of those. So, you better be paid. <laughs> <clears throat> it's really what makes this wedding also a civil wedding in the midst of the Jewish people. It's a contract, material obligations. The word God is not here. It's really the marriage between two citizens of the Jewish nation. We are not only a religion. We are also a people. We talk about the people of Israel, not the religion of Israel, the people of Israel. I want you to understand, okay? So, now before you go. Behad be Shabbat, be Shinai be Yisrim yon le Chodesh Elu Shnat, Chameshet Alafim, be Sheva Meot, be Shivim, ve Tesha le Briyat Olam, le Minyan Shano Monim Kam, be Fadlon, New Jersey, ארצות הברית, אקחתן רפאל פישר קלמן בן יוחנן, שמעון, הלילי, אמר לה לאל דאית איתה, תמר מלכה בת שבע דרה בת גרשון, הווה לי דאים תוקדת משה וישראל, ואן אפלך ואוקיר יזון, ואף ארנס יתיקי וכי כל גובלים יהודאים, דפקים מקרים ומספים לו בפושטה. סך הכל, מאה כסף זוזי וכזי ליל. They are called Shalir Bekayam, and it's Vladimir Gershon and Lior Zamir, the witness, and me, myself, Rabbi Zelikovic, who signed the ketubah with the bride and the groom. Okay? And those are your rights. It is <laughs> 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 not, not really the, the truth. Those are the rights of the bride. Okay? I'm going to give it to you. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> When, when you really don't know the bride and the groom from before, how are you going to talk to them? What kind of 
right? How, how you dare to say anything, right? So I asked them to do a homework, to write, to answer a couple of questions. How we met, what I like the most from him, from her, from each other, and what are my expectations for this marriage? And they promise not to cheat. <laughs> but what that means not to cheat, of course not to cheat. That they will not know what the other part wrote. Okay? So they don't know. So I will start with ladies first. Because because really there were only three questions and Scott answered an entire book. <laughs> <laughs> so how we met, I think we we are just going to say that we met online on J Date. Now let's put the mystical part here. There's a rabbi, okay, the mystical part. It was in the air. It's not online on the air, right? That, that marriage started coming from the air, right? When they met, when they met online. And this is what Amara says. And don't, I don't believe in dating site, for you to know. <laughs> But in order not to hear my mother's <laughs> nagging anymore, <laughs> I asked her to make a few pictures on, of me with her cell phone and open an account for one month. Out of the pictures, my mom looked, I selected the ones, okay, I'm not going there. So when he finally contacted her, right? So in a couple of days, I produced a lot of messages that say, that said, thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> This stressed and annoyed, annoyed me so much that I asked my mom to call the company and ask them to remove my profile. <laughs> I couldn't do it online until my paid month expired. By the end of the week, when I was ready to send a polite negative reply, reply I read Scott's profile and something stopped me from saying no. <laughs> She's with you. Okay. <laughs> I was very, very direct and honest about what I wanted from the relationship up front. I didn't have any time or desire to spend time with a man who was not the kind of person I wanted to meet, and vice versa. Scott asked for the phone number, and we started talking. I was hooked. <laughs> You want me to continue to read, or? <laughs> no, because it can, it, it doesn't take matter. Time, I, will. <laughs> take your time. I was cooked. By the end of the week, my account was closed, and my profile was taken offline, right? What I like about Scott, I met people who are fun to be around, and people who are dependable. There are very few people who combine both qualities, and Scott is one of those few. Scott became my best friend, my confidant, my mentor, and my lover, which seemed to be, to me, impossible. I feel like I knew him all my life. I feel him. I trust him as much as I trust myself with my most precious gift, my children. Even a bigger miracle is that my children trust him more and their father and loved him back. Scott's willpower and drive towards his goal is absolutely amazing. She described when you have an accident, right? When, and, when because of the suffering from, but his toughest assignment became ability <coughs> to live a normal, productive life, which gave him the opportunity after years of struggle to achieve success at work, gain respect, and finally, built a family that he always wanted. And the last very important thing to me is that we belong to the same tribe, <laughs> share the same past. People, people, Jewish continuity, and live according to the same law. 
You want to know what he thinks about you? <laughs> no, no, it's, like, it's only four pages, but <laughs> so you can have a great to see this. Okay, so they met on your day, and how we met, and then, then we spoke on spawn, I heard Tamara's entering a double, a, a, a double Russian accent for the first time. She, she, heard my, she heard my New Jersey accent as well. Uh, <laughs> And we had a wonderful conversation. But the most, the, the thing that really struck you, you know what it was? When you invited him to your home. Ah, you didn't know. For our second day, Tamara invited me to her mother's house for Russian Jewish food. That, that was a low blow, you know? <laughs> giving a man a good food and Jewish food. <laughs> When I, and, and he says, when I arrived at, Sri, Sri, at Babushka's house, Tamara introduced me to her mother, Sri Vatan, and stepfather, John Heron. Hey, 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 I, I need to learn more English. <coughs> Who passed away this year. A highly decorated military veteran, two legion of merit medals. Sri Vatan invited me in to eat and eat and eat. <laughs> <laughs> My heart melted when I saw a sign in Sretana's kitchen that says, Jewish Grandma's Kitchen, where memories are made and grandchildren are spoiled. Isn't it beautiful? After two days, I knew that Tamara was the woman I searched for my entire adult life, my Bashel. Bashel is a match made in heaven. And then when they come to the earth, they meet, even online. <laughs> okay, look, it's, I love that Tamara is entirely dedicated to our family. She's completely selfless. Everything she does, all of her sacrifices are for the family, for the children, her mother, and me. Nothing is more important to her than our family. I love that Tamara is so feminine, so worldly, so classy, so highly intelligent. Ah. Not only beauty, huh? You see? I love discussing history, art, music, literature, and movies with Tamara, and listening to all of her interesting, thoughtful insights, perspective, and point of view as a Russian Jew who immigrated to America. I love the connection that I feel with Tamara that brings me back to my roots. I love that Tamara has such impeccable artistic taste. I love that she has expanded my horizon, exposing to me <clears throat> need to beautiful Russian, French, and Italian music that I did not know existed. I love that Tamara is so driven to succeed, that she is so professionally accomplished. I love that Tamara fills in the areas where I am weak to, to make me strong. You raise me up. <laughs> and she nurtures and comforts me when I'm most vulnerable, that she completes me. I love that Tamara is so much better than me at mathematics and can help the children with the math. <laughs> I love that Tamara is so, is so much better than me at computers, right? <laughs> I love that Tamara sings the Shabbos blessings. It fills my heart with joy. I love that Tamara loves the Jewish tradition and is committed to raising our children with Jewish values. I love each day, each day that I am blessed to awaken to Tamara by my side Oof, you make me cry. <laughs> it is a gift. It is a gift from God, from Hashem. No. <laughs> I expect our marriage to be one of unconditional love. That Tamara and I will always be by each other's side through good times and bad times. That we will always nurture, support, and encourage each other. That we will always protect and defend each other. That we will raise our children in a Jewish home and impart our Jewish values to them. In life, I expect us to laugh and cry, to triumph and fail, celebration and sorrow. But whatever we face, Tamar and I will, be, will do it together. I expect sunrise, sunset, right? <laughs> One sunrise, sunset. One season following another, laden <clears throat> with happiness and tears. And if our good fortune never comes, here's to whatever comes drink Lechaim to laugh.
And now, a little story. A little story by the rabbi. And this is for all of you. Not only for them. And you know, when I tell the story, it's for me too. Okay? In a, in a shul, in a congregation, there was, there was a rabbi, 91 years old. They didn't, they didn't let him go. He was the emeritus rabbi. Of course, they hired a younger one, right? But this rabbi was so loved. He has a, a little office. And people, people used to come and schmooze with him, talk with him. And one day, young David comes. And he said, Rabbi, thank you for receiving me to, to give me this appointment. OK, David, what can I do for you? Rabbi, I want to marry you. Oh, David, I remember your bar so why would that happen? And then he said, well, children grow up, you know. Rabbi, you marry my parents, you marry my grandparents, you, you did my bar mitzvah, come on. You are the rabbi of the family. And what a great way just to close a circle by you marrying me now, right? And he said, well, David, I need to ask you for a favor. And say, yeah, what, what is rabbi? You have to be patient with me. I am old. Say, OK, of course. No, 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 you don't understand. I always try to make sure that I'm doing the right thing when I marry two people. So be patient, OK? Because when I marry, that was a shidah. You know what a shidah is, even if you're not Jewish? No? A shidah is the parents concerted. And it happened not only in the Jewish families. It happened in other families, too. Italian, I can tell you, right? That the parents, they, cons okay, they put them together. So I married for more than 65 years, I think, right? Children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. So I need, I need for you to be patient. Why do you want to marry to this girl? I say, well, Rabbi, why are you going to marry with her? <laughs> I fell in love with her. Ooh, you say the rabbi, I fell in love. That sounds very important, isn't it? But again, be patient with me. Maybe because I, I, I met my wife really the day of the wedding, and all those years, I am, maybe I never fell in love. Maybe. Why don't you tell me what means to fall in love, to fall in love? You say, well, Rabbi, this is a, is a, is a feeling. How can I explain? It's like, how taste the fruit? You have to taste it. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I love her. Whoa, says the Rabbi. I love her. Sounds even more important than I fell in love. Isn't it? But you know, maybe I don't love her. All those years, I know. I, we met the day of the wedding. Why don't you tell me, David? What means I love her? It's a two-way street here. What means I love her? You say, well, Rabbi, I can't explain that. I feel good with her. And then the Rabbi in that moment takes his head in his hands and say, oh, you, you, you. Oh, Nish Gid, no, 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 no. What that is, it will never work. And then they will say, I come here all happy. I'm going to marry. And you discourage me? Can you explain yourself, Rabbi? Of course I can. When I ask you, what means I love her? If you would say, because I love her, she feels good with me. Of your first day, I would understand. I feel good with her, you don't love her. You love yourself. How can it work? I will marry you, David. The day you will come here, you will say, because I love her, I will do anything to make her happy. And just looking at her, happiness, then I know where I'm going to find my own happiness. And again, this is two-way street, OK? It can be, maybe it can be started in OK? So I hope that both of you, both of you, with God's blessing, right? You are going to build a happy life. And you are going not just to feel good, but you're going to feel, to feel complete, to feel love, to feel the happiness that you find today. Because when I see in your eyes this fire, maybe uh, a little spark will come one day. We don't know, right? Maybe more than one? OK, no, no. The only thing is keep it the way it is today for the rest of your life. With God bless you. Amen. We now, we now finish the ceremony with the Sheba Brachot which is the seven blessings.
Oh, oh. Second cup of wine. Is the second cup of wine. Mm -hmm. Baru casado la hierba en número de Faulam, ore peria café. Baru casado la hierba en número de Faulam, se acole para el hipodo. Baru casado la hierba en número de Faulam, y oce a Adam. Baru casado la hierba en número de Faulam, ayer ya se ha me salmo, me se le tuta pito. Veinte no me menonía la de ya de Baru casa Adonai. Yotzer Adam, sos tasis betagela hakara, beki but badeya letoka besimcha baruch ata Adonai mezame aktion bebahane ya. And you can clap now. Same yaktesam hakreim aogi. This is very weak. Okay, same aktesa magreni magoni. Kesameka kayeti ka elamehemi ken. Kalo katalonai kesame akatan eka hala. Kalo katalonai eka ulam asher madaka samizika katan eka la. Now the groom will give to the bride to drink the first cup of wine since they are married. <laughs> when the temple of Jerusalem was standing still in our holy city, the priests used to bless the people of Israel. We are going to bless them with the same blessing that the priest, the Kohanim, used to bless the people of Israel from Jerusalem. We all rise, please. Now we go back to the Lord. The Lord is the Lord, 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 the Lord is the Lord. יישא אדוני פניו אליך ויישם לך שלום. יברך לך אדוני ואיש מלך. May God bless you and may God keep you and guard you. יאיר אדוני פניו אליך ויקוניך. May God illumine with his radiance and be gracious unto you. May God turn unto you and bless you with shalom and bless you with peace. And we all say Amen. 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 Because the temple is still destroyed, right? We, as a, rem as a reminder of that, the room will try to break a glass. Yeah. Yeah. I have a <laughs> So, and, and some people, they keep, they take the, the broken glasses, right? And they make a mezuzah that will be at the entrance of your home. When he does it, we will all participate mm -hmm. in that moment. And we will, by reading, in another voice, right, wishing them good luck by saying all together, Masuzo. Okay? This is what.
хорошо. Очень хорошо.